Hello all and welcome to another episode of NA Empire. Um, I'm really excited about today because I get to talk about one of my favorite beers, Weichtfahner. Um Even before I stopped drinking alcohol, I was still, uh, I, I really loved this beer. It was one of my favorites of all time. Um, they, claim, they claim to be the world's oldest brewery. Um, from Bavaria, uh, I'm, I'm not really going to argue with that claim. Uh, all I can tell you is that they're they are damn delicious. Um, classic, classic. Their non-alcoholic offering is a is, is a classic uh, branding here. Uh, it looks exactly like, not exactly like, but pretty similar to their their normal alcoholic offering with, of course, this giant non-alcoholic uh, plastered across the top and notes saying that it contains le contains less than 0.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, looking for more specifics on on that actual ABV, 0.5% um, is the only thing that they're willing to stick to online. So uh, we're just going to say 0.5% for this episode. Um, the calories in here are uh, 58, so um, with 10.8 grams of carbohydrates and 2.5 grams of protein. Um, you probably won't be able to see this if, if, I, if I hold it to the camera, but this does actually have a little bit of sediment in it. Um, And, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but um, I, I uh, am very curious why the sediment remains even after the dealkalization process. Uh, and something that's something that I, I, I need to ask around to find out about. Maybe I'll maybe I'll post an amendment to this video at some point to talk about that. But um, let's see what they have to say. So our golden yellow non-alcoholic malt beverage tastes like a premium malt beverage has to taste. Tangy, fresh, and full-bodied with hints of clove and honey, as well as a fine yeasty spirit. The unique taste is achieved by a method developed in collaboration with the Technical University of Munich, Weichstefan. The top ferment fermentation is not interrupted and the beverage has the entire time to mature. Only after the full development, the alcohol is withdrawn gently. A good companion to light summer dishes, sweet and sour dishes, or fruit sorbets. Yeah, um, let's uh, let's let's get let's get into this. I'm I'm really excited. This like I'm I'm not I'm not kidding when I say this is this has been and remains one of my favorite beers. Um, so right off the top, um, you smell it and it's and it's a lot. It's so so yeasty, so golden. Um, just just. It, you can tell you can tell there's some tang or some pepper in it and um, it's got it's just got a lot of body the flavor itself it has so much character so much body it's um this is a smell that after I after I after I drink this beer um, it sticks with me sort of hangs around in my mouth and my nostrils and and, and um, I love it I love the fact that even like you know an hour after I've had this beer I can be like oh what's that flavor and be like oh it's it's way funner I, I and 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 just kind of revel in the fact that, that uh, this flavor that I know and love is, is still hanging around. Um, yeah, let's, let's take a sip before we start extolling its virtues more. That is so good. Um, yeah, uh, it's everything you want out of a German wheat beer. Um, really, what, what can I say? Um, I, out of all the non-alcoholic sort of, you know, wheat beers that I've tried, um, this, this is far and away the best, you know, uh, no, no disrespect to well-being brewery, um, but, um, you know, Weichtfahner has been a around a long time and this actually gets a nice, a nice thin head and you can see it's got great, great carbonation, good bubbles, um, that, that lovely amber color. Um, you're not, you're, you see it's a little cloudy. Um, it's, this is slightly from it being very cold and also slightly from the sediment that I was talking about earlier, getting a little stirred up, uh, right before when I, when I came to make the video, but, um, yeah, let's, let's give it a, a second try and I can give, try and, try and give you some description of, of, of the actual, the actual body. So, um, one of the first things I notice when I um, take a sip of ice spawner is is not just that it has this light, peppery, sort of flirty flavor. It 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 also has that mouth feel. 
it's it's carbonated and, and and flavored in such a way that it feels like a, a really really awesome and and sort of uh, tickling of the senses, right? Um, not only it, it 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 I've had it with lemon and it goes really well with lemon, but that sort of that that deep malty like flavor that you want from a wheat beer is is there in spades, and the, it has this this unmistakable little bit of pepper in the, in the back of it that I just love, 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 love. Uh, oh, man. I mean, there are so many things I can say about this beer. Uh, I've had, I you know, I've, I've reviewed other beers on this channel up to now that have, you know, kind of flat flavor profiles. They, they do what they do, and that's what they do. But, um... This is a beer that you know it. It's got a lot of a lot of nuance, a lot of notes in it. Um, the longer you sit with it, the more you notice. Oh, there's like a fruity undertone, or oh, that's that's a little that's that's just a tiny bit you know nutty. And um, it's the, it it's above all, it does taste fresh. You know, it it tastes like a beer garden. It tastes like a like a, a warm summer day. You know, it's 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 so lovely, and. And I am amazed that they have been able to bring that flavor and that, that spirit across from their alcoholic offering. Um, the fact that this is still present in their non-alcoholic beer just makes me so happy because it's something that I thought I would never get back after I stopped drinking. And, and I have. It's here. And, and I love it. The only, the only, my only regret is that I can't get a, um, you know, <laughs> a, a liter pint glass full of it. Although I guess I could just buy enough and fill fill one up, but it's not quite the same. Uh, yeah, I I really if you're looking for like a, a nice summer day, a beer for a nice summer day, or just any of the things you know, like what the, what they describe the pairings with the the summer dishes, sweet and sour dishes, or fruit sorbets. Um, try and get this beer. I I was able to get it from Total Wine and More in uh, California, um, but I'm I wouldn't be surprised if your local distributor carries it. Um, if not, uh, there there are places online that sell it, but at a pretty steep shipping fee. Um, if you're lucky enough to be in Europe, uh, you can probably pick it up pretty easily. They've got a booming non-alcoholic beer scene over there. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, nothing. There's nothing quite like uh, like drinking a white Stefaner. Uh, at the end of a nice day. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me today. I I've, I've really enjoyed this review, and I hope you did too. Um, I'll see you next time on an AM pair, and uh, happy drinking.